Hello, happy creatures here. This is Caden. Caden. And then we got Olivia behind the, the and behind Ken. The, it's Ken, Caden, and we got Olivia behind the, the the doing the photography today. And we want to do a little update on our um, on our hamster exercise um, gym um, slash. Um, it can be like a dwarf hamster cage, but we use it for we use it for young. We we've been using it for baby um, Syrian hamsters, which is what we have in these two. When we made them, we didn't have the we, we we've added a, an interesting feature. We've added a new kind of wheel that we've made. Uh, we had to get a larger wheel because these mm -hmm. hamsters they need a larger mm -hmm. wheel than those little ones that they sell at the store. So we've converted. Uh, we've converted. Caden, please stay over here, please, with me. We've con we've converted one of these. We've decided to convert one of these into a wheel, and we're going to show you how we did that in just a second. Me and Caden are. Caden and I. And then we have added a little pinwheel that attaches to the wheel, so that when when they run on the wheel, it will turn the pinwheel. See, and then you can see they're running. And here's this one. This one's. Olivia's, this one's Cadence, and so you can see that when they run on the wheel, if they were running on the wheel right now, you would see that pinwheel would be turning, and that's kind of a fun little feature we put on there. We also put a little joint on there so that if a, a mean kid, if, if one of the meanies comes along and they try to spin it really fast and hurt your thing, it'll just spin and not, see how it doesn't move the wheel? We're not moving the wheels because it's got a little breakaway. That's what we've added on there so that, so that if a meanie comes along, they can't hurt the little guys. Except for Ian. So Olivia's going to zoom out now. We're going to show you the operation and how we do this. It's very quick and easy and fun. What we do is we use a lot of the same materials and try to reuse them. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Oh. Okay. We're going to clean up this. We're going to. We got these at the dollar store. This is a, a, a little, uh, you know, obviously a pinwheel from the dollar store. And we're going to. We're going to take, take the basket. This is the basket that we use for a little uh, skylight for our thing, for our um, for our deal. And we're going for our uh, uh, little toy thing. And we're going to take some sort of an item like this, and we're going to um, we're going to broaden out. I'll show you. In a minute. We're going to broaden out some of these squares in the basket so they're just a little bit rounded, like this. And then we're going to do one right in the middle on the other side, right there. A little bit rounded, like this. There we go. So that we can stick a little bearing in there. We're going to use a little uh, piece of PVC pipe for a bearing, like a sleeve bearing. So we're going to put one on this side and one on this side. And now we have, now we have, we're all kind of set up for, um, looks like this one that I've got to move over. Okay, I made one little mistake there. This one's got to be moved over this one. So I gotta move that one over. I put it in the wrong circle. But anyway, it's great you made. No big deal. You just fix it in a bit, and you're back to the project. Here. So we're gonna get this one in. Our second bearing here. This in. So we now we have our two sleep bearings in the proper place. Okay. So now that we're done with that. Caden's gonna help me here. He's gonna take this pair of pliers. Did you know you can cut wire with pliers and stuff like that? The little wire cutter is right there at the very top. So I'm going to demonstrate that with Caden here. He's going to cut this. We're going to we're going to um, use the very part of the. We're going to use part of the uh, part of the. We're not going to waste material if we can avoid it. So we're going to use this as our spindle for the wheel. So we're going to balance this out. We're going to want it to stick out about that far. So Caden's going to cut this right here. Time with the tools, well, it takes time with the tools. Now, okay. and then I'm going to put this right here. Now, we want to put it right there. Now, squeeze it close. Now, it's really hard. Now, it's almost got it. Now, we're going to put this right here. Now, there we go. We did it. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Great job, bud. Okay, so we have our we have our little uh, we have our, our uh, middle axis done. Now for this one, um, we're gonna we use just this top part. So um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use our soldering iron for cutter. And we're just gonna cut that right off, just like that. Ten minutes. What we're gonna do. 
Now Caden's going to help me out here. He's going to. Uh, now Caden's going to help me glue. Now, now we have a, a thing we have to deal with here. This is made to spin, so it has a spinning joint right there. We can't have that joint there like that if we're going to use it for what we want to use it for here. So Caden's going to help me lock it up. What I need you to do, Caden, is I want you to go around like this. That melt in. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. You can do this. Kind of melt it so it's stuck like that. And then turn it a little bit. Put on your glove. I'm going to pause it for a second. And do the same thing right there. We're going to take a break from it and we're going to come back and it'll be done. We're going to make the wheel. So, um, the, uh, um, <clears throat> what we want to do is Kate's going to grab this, this, uh, put it on your glove. He's going to grab this, this, uh, the soldering iron. And he's going to, I want you to put a hole right there. See where that little hole is right there? Go ahead and put that in there. We're going to try to make it so it's just the right size so this will go right there. See how big that hole is? Yeah. So we just need a regular size hole. I need you to poke it and pull it out. Basically. Right in the center. Do it so they can see it though, right there. Like, just poke it there in the center and then pull it out. Make it sort of like go up and go up and go straight in. I don't want to, I want a round hole so you have to go straight. You know what I mean? Okay. So get right there. Hold right in the circle. Perfect. Works. Oh, we got it in there. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Right where that hole is. I mean, I'll hold it like this. Yeah. Hold it. I can't because it has a stick on it. Now, I can stick it out. Good. Do it again. So let's see if it fits. Looks like it's going to go. We need a little more room. Just a tiny bit more. Just a little bit more. So now we have, look, we have our, we have our wheel. Mm -hmm. The only thing we need left to do is, you can see on these wheels, we cut holes so that the, uh, the arrows can get into the wheel. So you have to cut a hole or a circle or a square on this. We're not going to do it today on our, on our show because we're on limited time. So now Caden's going to show us how we put it together. Go ahead and take that off, Caden. We're done with the fire. And Caden's going to finish it up for us. Oh, fire. So we're done with the heat, I mean. Here we are with the wheel, we're going to put it all together, we don't, we're not starting any fires though. <laughs> so we're going to pull this out, now that we're done with this, we're going to pull this out carefully, we have to crack it over this time. Then we're going to, um, we're going to put this like this, this is what we're going to do, hold that for some tape. We're going to put this through here, then we're going to go through there. Then we're going to go through the other close. Then we're going to go through the other bear, we're going to go all the way through this. And now, we got ourselves well, a little bit of adjustment. Yeah. Well, I know what I forgot to do. No, I forgot about one other one. One item I forgot to do. I forgot about it. You have to find a pair of scissors and cut off this little tab. That's one thing you have to do. You have to chop the tab on the Betty Crocker. So you just kind of lift it up like this and cut right off. And then you have to do it like that. Right there. That's not in your way. Get out. So we have our, so when the animal gets in there, he runs, he runs on his wheel. There's something touching his hinder, but... But how does he get in? There. He the wheel, and hey, when you'll, you'll see it out there, he'll be turning the, the pinwheel, so it'll be fun whenever your animal gets on and he runs. But and how then, does he get in? To for, run. So, for running purposes, of course, what we're, what, the one thing we're skipping is that we would have put, we would have drilled a circular hole right yeah, here with a right hole saw. See the holes right here? And we'll show you that on this on this one here. We'll just take this off and show you how that works. See? On this one I made a little, little triangle on that one. That's one way you can do it, right? Or on this one, on this one, we decided, I'll, I'll show you, but we would take this so they come, come off. If you want to travel or something, we can think. We have a little circle, see? So you can do it in two different ways. Um, but in the circles, I think, is the easiest because you can use a hole saw. What you do is you put a hole, put the bit on there, and run it backwards. And then it just goes, it, and then slowly, and just carefully go, put a little pressure on it, and it'll pop that hole right in there for you. And same thing, and then with the square one, you just use your, what we do with this to make the, to make the triangle, is we use the uh, soldering iron, and I just 
did a little geographical, I did, I did a square a square this way and T this way, and then I just took one triangle out on this side and one triangle on this side and left a circle in the middle as you can see on that one there. So that's how you can convert, that's how you can convert your hamster fitness cage that we created last month into a hamster fitness cage with a pinwheel. Thanks for watching guys, we'll post it on YouTube, show you how to do it. Thanks Katie, thanks Olivia, thanks Katie. Katie, look. Is that a meanie? Is that a meanie? Wait, don't oh, click a meanie! Bye! Bye. Over there in a minute, he'll start. He's waking up. As soon as he wakes up, he starts running. I'm gonna come over there. Hey, one more time. One more time. Let's show his face again. Hey, that's a video of myself.